everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today I'm going to try one of my favorite new Disney characters. I'm really kind of doing this on the fly. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go with this. But uh, we're just going to try. All I can do is try. So let me gather a few things. You know, I'm always forgetting something. But first I'm going to put some of this this stuff on my face it's just a little primer and it's so nice uh, Tina got a hold of the tube and bit into it this came in an ipsy box um, but it's really nice I, I don't I'm usually not one for all these extras but I don't know I think it's nice okay let me gather what I need because um, I need to start with a white base, so I'm going to start with white face paint first. Okay, you can see all my like equipment in the background, kind of, but just ignore it. Um, hopefully by the end of this, if things go the way I want, I'll have the green screen behind me soon. So I'm, oh, I'm going to start with a brand new clean, fresh brush. I got this set uh, right here at Five Below's five below in the arts and crafts section. I've bought several of these sets because I love them. They're very soft and they work perfect for uh, what I need them for. I wanna get the made you look set, but I feel like I would need several sets of that too. And I think it's like $60, which I think would be totally worth it. But now I'll work on that. It's almost Christmas, so. And um, I'm just using this set and spray as my water because I just find it looks it just looks better on the skin than just um, using water and it seems to set better so we're gonna go in with probably two layers of white Okay, now I'm going to try and draw the mouth on. Um, and, and I'm mixing two blues together to get the right shade of blue. And um, I don't know how this is gonna work. I may decide to make a 3D one with some clay, but we'll have to see. Um, I think I wanna do it right about here. I'm gonna get the general shape first. Okay, I'm gonna be doing some finishing touches, but now I wanna get on the eye portion. Okay, so this one, I just need to create a googly eye. And then this one's gonna be smaller. And the black part, the pupil, is gonna be down here. Okay, so we're gonna start filling that in with some black and this should be safe this black paint I'm using if I notice that it's starting to feel a little uncomfortable I'm gonna switch over to just black eye makeup I just did all that and didn't have record hit this is such a problem of mine because I know I hit it I know I did but anyway um, we're gonna touch this up some more around the eyes but I want to go ahead and put the the eyebrow on and it's just going to be over the top here. So, just kind of something like that. Touching the eye though, it shouldn't be. Um, that's about it. Just want to square the ends. This is the brow.
Okay. <laughs> um, now I want to glue the prongs on. And then we'll we'll do touch-ups. I gotta fill this all in with black. I gotta fill in a few other spaces with some more white. And um hopefully get some green screen action going. If I'm not happy with this, we'll just stop here and we can just all have a good laugh. So I have this that I made. So we're going to put this on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this stuck on me first with some prosade and I'll be back. And I got some of this on my shirt. So I have to throw it away because there are certain people that will be sure to point that out because she loves to point out every flaw. So, but that's a totally different story for another time. Okay, let me cover these spots I got red with some of the white paint. Open it up. Went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party last night. It was fun for me. I want to get my lips as white as possible and just hide them away. Because I'm a spork. I'm not supposed to have lips like a human mouth. Okay, now I'm just testing with the green screen behind me. I'm, I think I'm going to paint myself in green because I can't find my green shirt that I was gonna use. And then you won't be able to see the handle part. So I just put a little strapless dress on and uh, we will see what I can do. Okay, well that's it. I could probably paint another coat of green on me to disguise me more into the green screen app, but um, this is what I have. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, if you're going to go out dressed like Forky, maybe wear maybe a one piece uh, black outfit and then maybe sew white felt up the middle and then add the details for his body. Um, or just wear a, a white, like one piece white jumpsuit or something and then tie some red, uh, fabric on you that looks like pipe cleaner for the arms and to tape it to your arms or glue it to your arms or whatever. It would be real easy to do, but uh, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I had a really, I had a really, I really had a lot of fun with this one. I think it's really cute. Uh, I think Forky is awesome. Um, wish I could disguise my mouth better. I suppose I could have done what I did for Jason where I just covered my mouth, but then I wouldn't be able to talk and I don't really care for doing voiceover so much, but um, I think this is good enough, uh, just to kind of show you how I did the makeup. Um, if I was going to go out, I would highlight with a more sharp white right around the edges of the mouth and the brow. And, uh, I would probably create a, um, this to go all the way around and just attach it like going around with a piece of elastic or something. But, um, just to kind of show you the makeup portion, uh, this is what I did. Uh, I saw a little boy last night dressed as Forky and I was pretty excited about that. And I will also insert a photo of me, if I remember, holding a little plush Forky I found. I did not buy him because I chose to buy a Madame Leota Funko Pop instead. But anyway, this is it. Uh, oh, and obviously you're not gonna walk around with your eyes closed, but like this, but for the most part, I think it's pretty cute. So, um, uh, I never thought about doing Forky until this morning. I was like, I wonder if I could do Forky. And then I saw I had this poster board to cut out his little spork spikes. And uh, so here we have it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this again. I had a lot of fun with this. And uh, I hope to, uh, I hope you all come and visit me again. And um, I'm taking suggestions. If you wanna email me or send me some thoughts or ideas, I'll see if, if I can pull off a look for you. Thanks so much and I'll talk to all of you later. Bye. Thank you.